So, so what, what's a tool that you would give someone that you say that, Hey, this has helped me along my path. Um, we've got communication down, of course. What, what's something else that you would maybe add to a toolbox for someone? You know, of course, emotional intelligence, self-awareness is always going to be two that tangle with each other. And the reason I say that, because you see a lot of people, Shaq said it, and I've seen it on a couple other podcasts where they said, you know, a man should never be vulnerable enough to share their emotions with their woman because she's going to think less of him. And I get that concept. But really, at the end of the day, if you taught yourself and understood how to actually regulate your emotions, how to have emotional agility and maturity, knew how to name and tag that emotion, because there's a lot of different. I'm depressed. No, maybe you're hopeless right now. Yeah. You know, there's different things of how you have to really see yourself in that situation. And if you show if you show the women in your life that you know how to navigate, you could be a trusted leader. So it's not about running away and not showing them, show them how to handle that so they know how to handle theirs. Yeah. Handle them in the same courtesy. You know what I mean? That's what really the key is. So when you walk the, the path of self-awareness, self-honesty, because you got you to gotta unpack yourself. You do. You do. You know, that's the biggest fear. We don't want to take accountability, you know, for a lot of our actions. But if you do those, I, emotional intelligence, self-awareness, accountability over victimhood, that's always going to put us in a better position. Yeah. You know, I think these are going to be like kind of basic things to actually have better relationships and better ways to see your partner and communicate with them.